Well, the trainer's funny enough for this one. Not often you see me in trainers. Going to the car park. It says Basil. It's obviously, I think they remember me from obviously I was here um, last time and I said what my name was. And there's only me here. It's only me here, really. I mean, that's showing, describing, like me, really. There's only, there's only me here, so that's going to show that I'm being watched. <laughs> Do you know I'm here? Well, I think Nora does. I don't know if, if Jill knows I'm here yet. Yeah. <laughs> so Come find Jill. That one, a bug that, that I just sent on the SLS camera, by the way. I don't think the cat balls are even going to go off either, so maybe it's all... Uh... Nora, if that's you, can you turn the lights off, please? They've gone off. No way. Cheers, Nora. My name's Basil, by the way. I'd like to speak to Nora, please, or whoever drew that picture. Yeah. No. Welcome to, well it'll be Royal Court Theatre when we get there, so it's a video of Royal Court Theatre but uh, hopefully we get inside this time. So if you didn't watch the first video, Royal Court Theatre is in Bear Cup. It's actually a theatre show where you, you know you go to perform acts and you watch and obviously they do have different events, uh, for example like Roy Chubby Brown and you know like Michael Jackson tributes, stuff like that. So um, I was there before. I was on my last video actually, my last investigation was um, I started branding Arctica and then before that I was actually at the theatre but I couldn't get inside so today we should be getting inside uh, if you don't know anything about the theatre yet I think it says something like 1873 but before the theatre was there uh, it, well it might have been before the theatre was there was an iron foundry there and then there was a fire um, and then it became Royal Court Theatre. So I don't know if it burnt to the ground and then they remade it. I'm not quite sure how that worked in the time frame of it fucking having a fire and turning into the Royal Court Theatre. So I don't I don't actually know that that bit. I don't know if that's actually relevant. But I'm sure we'll find out. So the Royal Court Theatre comes with a legend called Nora the Ghost. And I believe that Nora the Ghost is real actually, you know, because the um, the interactions I was having last time. But there was no cat ball or REM pod, so we're hoping that, that we can get that this time whilst they get inside. Because then I know the spirits are communicating from within from within the, the theatre then. They're actually there and then communicating with you, rather than being somewhere else. Uh, so lots of people have been here, like most aren't it have been here as well. I've never actually watched that episode, so um, maybe I'll watch it another time. So anyway, I'll, uh, we'll get to the bake up and we'll get cracking on, we'll meet Jill. So... <clears throat> I arranged to meet Jill, who's like one of the, one of the, um, I think she's like one of the board of directors or something. So I explained about Royal Court Theatre to her uh, when I seen her. She had some keys, so I wanted to explain to her about Royal Court Theatre and just ask her about certain things. And then the conversation got got a bit more, and then we could start talking. Then, so hopefully, I'll get to meet her today and get inside. Yeah. I think there's some kind of um, 
I just seen the lights go back on then. There we go, right in front of me. Nora, I can see you. I can see you on the radar. Nora, I can see you. I can see you on the radar. If you go to that device on the floor that's got an aerial in it, it'll it'll beep and it'll give yourself some relevance. Don't. You know there was a fire here once. Low product. Train of form. You can come and um you can come and put some just some words in this and you can come and choose them and it'll beep. Oh, it beeped as well, no way, they made it beep. That's sick, that well done, Nora. <laughs> Got some celebration music to go with it as well. So I just arrived in Bearcup and um, I thought I'd tell you that Royal Court Theatre is uh, run by volunteers, so it's a volunteer day today, so this is how I've managed to um this is how uh, Jill's obviously nicely asked me to come in because it's convenient for them really for me to come at this time. So, big shout out to Jill for letting us come if we can manage to get in, which I've got no doubt we will. Um, and we can get inside and have a good look at Royal Court Theatre. Um, hopefully we get to some evidence of Nora. Um, and um, I also believe there's some kind of dark male presence as well. Um, when I was asking Nora to touch the equipment, he said don't. Uh, remember that in the last time I came. Um, so let's see what we can capture. Um, I'm not expecting much, but I'm quite excited to get inside. So um, let's see if this is similar to Chapman's Hall. Um, the evidence seems to be similar with the with the balls of light and the orbs that have these voices. So we'll uh, we'll get in there. We'll, hopefully the REM pod goes off, and uh, some, we get some cat ball action, and um, you know we can come back. I will express my interest in. Um, to Jill as a volunteer to do paranormal events if, if if she thinks that's you know if she's into that she might not be and that's cool but I will uh, put my point across where you know I'll, I'll be interested in volunteering um, any paranormal nights um, I'll happily come down anyway let's get to the theatre and get cracking so we're here again I said come down here. Which is something I think we're a bit familiar with. That's that's one or two, but what's the mirror? That's funny enough for this one. to the car park. It says Basil. It's obviously I think they remember me from obviously I was here um, last time and I said what my name was. And there's only me here. There's only me here really. I mean that's showing describing like me really and there's, on, there's only me here so that's going to show that I'm being watched <laughs> do you know I'm here well I think Nora does I don't know if, if Jill knows I'm here yet <laughs> so I can find Jill that one a bug that that I just seen on the SLS camera by the way I don't think the cat balls are even going to go off either, so maybe it's all...
Right, so I didn't have permission to film, yeah, but I did have permission to take photographs, so uh, I'll have to finish my video with the photographs. So these are photographs from inside, and it goes to show um, how long um, Royal Court Bake-Up Theatre has been open for. This gives me an opportunity, or this, this gave me an opportunity to meet some of the volunteers that work there and some of the board of directors. Um, and obviously I explained, you know, why I was there and my interest in, in being there. So I got to meet um, a, a guy called Colin who was who was absolutely fantastic, to be honest. He showed me all around the theatre and he told me some great stories from uh, the theatre. And, um, you know, we uh, we had a good exchange of um, information and stories. And uh, Colin was brilliant, so big shout out to Colin for letting me come in. So this gave me an opportunity to show inside the theatre. So I wanted to uh, obviously take some photographs because there's a legend of Nora and... and um, some photograph evidence so I thought I'd try for, for myself so all these photographs up to now I didn't really see anything in them uh, so I took as I took about 50 photographs or something like that so I just continued taking photographs uh, which is obviously it's lovely inside because obviously it's, it's served its purpose throughout the 19th century which has been fantastic really for Rossendale I think where people can come and watch um, um, you know theatres and this used to be a movie studio as well where uh, I got told it used to house up to a thousand people at one point and it had a third tier too which is uh, stuff like that's uh, fantastic honestly when when the uh, the people uh, of this place you know the volunteers engaged uh, you know really well with me and told me um, all about the the theater really which was fantastic so like i say i was uh, taking photos uh, this is that's just some smart by the way so I just obviously continue to take photos uh, constantly. If I couldn't video, then I thought, right, I'll just take photos then if I'm allowed. Uh, so obviously the, the um, we continued to exchange information and uh, put the REM pod out and um, let the uh, paranormal note go off uh, the radar, which I got some hits on, by the way. Um, also as well, it, uh, it said noise as we approached a quiet area, which I thought was... Um, quite significant because it's the only word that came out whilst I was in there. So, like I say, obviously I continued to take photographs because I was like looking to, to capture Nora, maybe, or the, the ghost of Nora on these uh, camera captures, really. Uh, because I've, I mean, I've done this before, but by accident, I've got captures before by accident, so I thought, why not? Just, just keep taking photographs and just see what you can capture. And then eventually we got two photographs. Uh, this one, which does nothing in it, and then seconds later, we've got this one here, which you could say that's uh, off the light, but it doesn't appear, it doesn't have the same features in the first photograph. These two photographs are took seconds apart. Uh, you could argue that's off the light, but I'd argue back that what about the photograph before, you know, so we've got some kind of, you know, something in one of the photographs, but it's not uh, that significant because there was lots of lights in the theatre. You can see the glare off the lights on the left and right hand side here. But I can tell light glow usually in photographs. But yeah, that, that other one I was just pointing back there, it seems to be some kind of um, anomaly in that one. And looking again here, you know, in a different perspective. But again, it's the same. It's just, it's just more photographs, continue to take photographs. Because, I mean, this is a great theatre anyway. Like I say, you know, it has served its purpose and it's um, still serving today. Like I say, with the volunteers that do a great job, um, and without the volunteers, this place wouldn't be open. So, big shout out to all the volunteers of, um, you know, Royal Court Fair. They're doing an amazing job. I got told though, there's over 70 uh, volunteers that, that can help with uh, the events that um, go on. Um, and the, the you know the the uh, the bookings that they take so they they do have paranormal events here as well I'm told so um, but um, I'm actually interested in how many people uh, you know like value this kind of content when it comes to old theatres and stuff like that but anyway I'll end the video now and uh, nice for watching. And yeah, I just wanted to also mention that, you know, um, I'm still covering Rosendale because I think I've still got some projects lined up in Rosendale to show you and I think Hilltop Needles will be one of them as well. And I'll explain that in another video what Hilltop Needles is. Anyway, um, ciao for now and um, see you soon.